Hello everyone, Amy R. here with Prairie Paper and Ink, and I am using some brand new, just released, my favorite things, stamps and dynamics. So I started with this beautiful bloom stamp. It's literally one stamp that comes in the set, and it's huge, like bigger than the size of a palm of my hand. And I, the minute I opened the package, I was like, yep, this, I have to use this. <laughs> so I have a million ideas for stamp ideas. I wanted to, you know, watercolor and metallic heat emboss. I was like, this would look gorgeous with sparkling emboss. But like, just, you could do a million things with this. But I kept it simple. I stamped it onto some pale icy blue cardstock here with um, some Versamark ink. And then I used just some detail white embossing powder. Just simple. But even as I was doing this, I was like, oh, you could like sponge ink over this. And it would look like you could do a million things. I am obsessed with floral stamps. I've said this in tons of videos. Anything floral, I'm just like, yes. And if it's big floral images for stamps, I'm all over it. So this one's just fun. So I stamped it. I melted it with my heat tool. And then um, I've pointed this out in previous uh, videos and that for MFT. They're, they now have on stamps like this, there's a little notch. And this is on a lot of their, especially floral ones where there's um, a lot of detail and there's a bunch of coordinating dies, etc. The little notch, it's on the just the main part of the stamp, not the actual, like it doesn't stamp that little notch. But if you look at that and then the coordinating wafer die has a little mark on it as well, just almost like a dot. And that helps you to line up the, the wafer dies. It just, it makes things so much faster and easier. So I'm going to show that here in a second. So I just kind of figured out where I'd stamped it and where that little notch was, a little little triangle, I guess. And I was like, perfect. So then I just had to find the, the little same spot on the wafer die. And then this took me like half a second. Usually, you know, I'm sitting here and like twisting the die around for a while until it lines up. And so that just made this all go faster. So die cut that with its coordinating dynamics die. And then the sentiment is from the Hello Beautiful stamp set. And I stamped that onto a scrap of some Audrey Blue cardstock. And then I used the new Essential Slanted Sentiments Dynamics. That's another one that's going to be one I reach for a lot. Dies like this are just handy. They're just anything like this that's a kind of a basic. It just becomes a staple. So I die cut that. And then before I die cut my silver glitter paper, I ran that through my little Xyron just to put some adhesive on the back of it. And then I die cut that with the new beautiful wafer die. So then it's going to be glittery and have adhesive. So this whole card just like came together so simple and quick and easy. So I used heavyweight white cardstock for my card base. And then I'm going to adhere the die cut flower to that. And, of, and I pulled out my black and white stripe pattern paper that I think I'm pretty sure at this point I have multiple packs of this that I never run out in this lifetime. <laughs> So I cut, trim that down and I actually held the sentiment strip on there and just kind of eyeballed it just so I could get the angle where I cut the pattern paper similar. So just holding that against and then kind of using that just as a visual guide because I wanted them to be cut kind of on the similar angle. So I trimmed down the pattern paper and then kind of figured out how I wanted my little layout here to work and decided, like, you can see how big this flower is. This is an A2 size card, so four and a quarter by five and a half. So I wanted the flower kind of hanging off the edge a little bit. So I'm just going to adhere this into place with my little Zyron tape runner. I'm going to adhere the flower. Like, ugh, I, I, need, I need more hours in the day. I need more days in the week. I really, I want to stamp this flower and do some like messy watercoloring. I just think it would look so pretty. So I adhered my flower, flipped over the card so I could trim off the excess with just with my scissors. And I'm gonna adhere my pattern paper and then um, the little sentiment strip here. And then once I've got those adhered in place to adhere the uh, glitter die cut word is just a matter of peeling off the backing and pressing that into place. So I didn't have to sit and fiddle with liquid adhesive or anything like that. I didn't think about stacking this, but decided to keep everything pretty flat because it just works. And since it's all glittery, it still stands out nicely against the colors and everything else. So adhere that into place. And then to adhere the little dot to the eye in this word, I just use my little die pick. 
I like using that to kind of peel off the backing for one. And then I use a die pick because the, the little stick kind of to the end of it. And then that way I can kind of pick it up and press that into place. So got that all adhered and then I had to add just a little, bring out the silver a little bit more. So I pulled out some silver foil um, jewels for crystals from Studio Cadia and I'm going to just adhere those into place with some multimedia matte adhesive. So just a little dab to that and just kind of stick those into place with my jewel picker. And then of course you have to add something to the inside. So I'm going to stamp that huge, beautiful bloom with a pale blue ink as well onto the inside of the card using my little stamp platform again, just because this is such a big stamp and I tend to not pay enough attention a lot of times. And with this, I did end up like stamping it twice to make sure I inked up or like pressed down all the inked areas properly onto the inside of the card. So I'm going to stamp that on the inside of the card. And then the sentiment I added is from a previously released uh, Anything But Basic Friendship stamp set from MFT. And I will have links to all of this in the description box below the video. But I stamped the flower and then I lined up the stamp and I'm going to just stamp that with MFT's Extreme Black Ink. And once that stamps, the card is done. So, like I mentioned, I will have a link below the video to my blog post. I'll have a supply list with links to everything. I'll also have a link to the new release because there's a whole bunch of new stamps and dies that are released that are just fabulous. So I'll have all that linked in my blog post. You can check that out below if you are interested. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs up and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.